Robbie Davis will center one, forcing through a shot down to make the save. Brian Rooney puts it home. It's a goal. Justin Rooney will steal to a corner. Brian Rooney will save. Brian Rooney will make the puck. Will strip by the crease. A puck. Oh, I got hockey fans and welcome to the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. That's right, the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. The Cam- 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 This is going to be a great game. Bulldogs came off a huge victory against way, uh, against Westwood, and Falmouth uh, ranked number two in Division Two. Canton number seven, and Canton beat Falmouth not too long ago. So there's a lot going on back and forth on both sides of the ice. Yeah, it's going to be a really good game. Pete. Falmouth, as you said, ranked number two. Excellent, they played. They only have two losses all year, and Canton beat them a little under a month ago, two to nothing, and. Uh, you know, in the last two tournament games, Cannes played phenomenal. I know they only scored two goals in each team, but those games could have been 4 5 nothing. The goalie for Westwood and Hanover stood on their head. Those games were, those were Cannes days. They were the better team in both matchups, and that's how they got to come out tonight. They got to come out flying, just like they did in the previous two games. Well, no question there, Steve. They have to come out hot against this Palma team because they are a strong team, no question about that. And they're looking for a little revenge uh, off of that uh, big win by Canton back off at the Ice House a couple of uh, last month. But, uh, you know, it all starts in goal. We always talk about it, right? All starts with your goaltender. If your goaltender's hot, you know, you can, you can make some mistakes. But I'll tell you, the goaltender can win you the game, too. Yeah, I, I mean, Katie Budway's played really good the, uh, the first two tournament games. She didn't get a lot of shot against Hanover, but she made some clutch saves against Westwood. And it starts with her, and the defense has played great the last two games. I think, Pete, the first five minutes of this game will be the telltale sign, because Falmouth is going to come out flying. They, they got revenge on their mind for losing that game, knocked them out of the number one seed in Division Two. So uh, I think the first five minutes, I think if Canton can weather that storm, uh, I think it'll be fine. I said they'll find their legs and come right back at it. So Steve, Kate Budway again, she played very, very well. Last two games, I thought she played, I thought she played phenomenal last game. I gave her the first time. I know Izzy Cusack scored both goals, and I don't want to take anything away from her, but when a goalie gets a shutout in a tournament game, I mean, that's just huge. Yeah. And then you have the defense in front of her. They are blocking shots, they're moving people out from in front of the net, and they're getting rid of those rebounds that do come out. So the defense, again, is just playing very, very well. Yeah, I mean, I don't, in the last game, I, I don't remember one rebound shot on Katie. The defense did that good a job of carrying everybody out, and also Katie doing a great job of not giving up the rebound. You know, she kept all the rebounds close and she covered them up or they got cleared away by the defense. So, you're right. I mean, the defense and Katie have just been stellar the first two games. No question there. We'll go to offense, Steve. You got first shooter for Canton of Lehan, Spinelli, and Penders. I mean, they're playing very well. And you come back with that second line. McLean, Izzy Cusack, and they have these stocks. I'll tell you, they're playing great oh, hockey right now. But then, she has no problem, coach has no problem throwing out the third and the fourth one. Yeah. So a lot of depth there. Right, and that's, you know, that's huge because the more you go into the tournament, you know, you're going to need those plays to give the first two lines a break. And Kim, they're not just giving them breathers, they're getting score on opportunities. Uh, the third line, you got, uh, what, um, Daly, Daly and, and um, Raffetto killing penalties, doing an unbelievable job. It's just, and then when they're on the offense, when they're up, they're getting the offense, and uh, Lions and Buffetto doing an unbelievable job in, uh, job in the corners, getting the puck in there. So all three lines, four lines are playing absolutely fantastic right now. Yeah, and it, like you said, though, they got to come out fast. they got to put some shots on this foul and ball and really put them back on their heels. So we expect to see the Bulldogs come out really hot right off the bat here. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have the introductions 
the national anthem, and the drop of the puck of this quarterfinal game between the Bulldogs and the Clippers. We'll be right back. Welcome back, hockey fans, here at the Bog in Kingston, Massachusetts. Pete DeSisto, along with Steve Willis, about to bring you all the exciting action of this quarterfinal game against the Lady Bulldogs, against the Lady Clippers of, uh, of Falmouth. And Steve, again, you know, we'll see who, uh, you know, which team comes out uh, ready to play. But uh, you know the Bulldogs are going to be ready. Yeah, the they did come out the first two games, Peyton really took it to their opponent. Uh, hopefully they can do it again today, you know, but you're getting further on in the, the tournament. Falmouth is a great team, and, and uh, hopefully they can uh, push it right from the get-go. No question there. So both coaches giving some last-minute instructions there as we prepare for the opening face-off. And uh, winner of this game will go to the semifinals. And uh, between the winner of Burlington and Marshall. Marshall, right. And they play, they play later on tonight. So, uh, so it'll, be, uh, it'll be interesting for sure as the, uh, as, uh, you know, hold on. Had such a good track record the past three or four years. Five, four years, right? Four years. Four years they've gone to the garden. So, uh, you know, they have a lot of experience behind them right. in, the, in these later stages. So. Yeah. No, no panic, no panic in them if they get behind, but that's not what you want to do. What you want to do is get ahead early. So on the faceoff, Anna Lehan out there with Pendens and Spinelli. That's going to be one by Falmouth. They're going to take the puck and throw it right on net. There's a big save by Budway. They can't be trying to move it out of their own zone. Spinelli on the sideboards. She's checked there by Devlin. As both teams trying to grab that puck. And as uh, Lehan has it, she comes behind her net, she'll throw it up the boards. Gets it up to uh, Pendis, and Pendis comes out of the zone. Pendis goes cross ice, they tried to hit Spinelli, she tipped it in, couldn't hold on to it. Riggs has it now around her own net, she throws it out to center ice, that'll go to Spinelli, it's gonna go back to Kaylee Cullen. Cullen's gonna bag it off the board, gets it to Pendis, and she'll tip it in. And Canton going for a change now with the offense on the on the uh, floor check is Spinelli. As Canton trying to get some fresh legs out there. McLean out there now. McLean has it. 
She's going to go cross ice. Tried to hit Spinelli, but she was on her way to the bench. So Falmouth's going to dump it down behind the camp net. That's Kaylee Cohen's going to pick it up. Cohen starts out with it. She gets to center ice. Cohen has it. She's going to try and dump it down. She's checked there by Turner. Turner and Cohen go into the corner as Falmouth able to get it out of the zone. That's going to go to Ferreira. Ferreira goes into the middle. But good play there by Cohen to get back. Tip that puck out of the zone. Turner has it now. She's at center ice. She gets it back to Bittaccio. That's going to go over to Ferreira. Ferreira throws it up. Stopped there by Stock. Abby Stock gets it out of the zone. She throws it up into the neutral zone. She'll dump it down deep. There's Canton going for a change again. Izzy Cusack on the forecheck, though. She goes into the zone, tries to take that puck away from Duffin. Duffin stops and goes the other way. Now McLean on the forecheck. Cusack trying to get it. And good play there by Tori Carr. Intercepted that. She steps in, she takes a shot that's blocked by Duffany. That's going to go behind the Falmouth net. And Duffany's going to start out with it. She throws it up. Oh, almost intercepted by Spinelli. And back comes Dicaccio. She has it. She goes in the middle. But intercepted by, by Lehan. Lehan takes it over the line. Gets to the top of the circle. She's got Spinelli out front. Lehan still has it behind the net. Spinelli now going to try and get it as the Falmouth player lost his stick. And Falmouth's gonna try and break it out. Now Roth has it. But that's stopped by Tori Carr. She steps in, takes it right out of it, said by Devlin. Puck moves out front. Carr again. But she's checked from behind. Devlin. That's a good stick check from the uh, Falmouth player, Pete, with not letting her get a shot off. So that was that was Riley Devlin. And Tori Carr stepped up. Oh, what a play. Almost. Able to, she had one good shot on net and a big save by Aspen Devlin. But Tori Carr almost had the second run, but could play good back check there. Yeah, the first shift came out, we figured Falma come out on fire, and uh, Canton right back at it now. Canton's starting to carry the play, Pete. So Stock is going to throw it down behind the net. McLean on the forecheck. He's going to go on the sideboards. Devlin has it. Now McLean throws it out front, no one there. Well, that's going to be thrown up, that's intercepted by McLean. She takes, she gets over the line. She got stuck with her, she takes a shot. Oh, there's a save by Devlin. Good passing there by the Bulldogs. That's going to be in the corner now. Stock has it, I mean, uh, Cusack has it. She'll throw it around the boards. Picked up by Riley Devlin. She gets over the red line. She's going to dump it down into the Canton zone. Kaylee Cohen goes after it. Cohen has it, she stops, goes the other way with it. Gets it to Spinelli. She's going to start out with it. Falmouth backing off, so there's a little bit of running room here for Devin Spinelli. She's going to get over the line as Canton going for the change of all the forwards. Yeah, yeah Pete, uh, Falmouth backing off big time. The defenseman getting halfway into their zone before they even try and attack the Canton forwards. So Lehan on the forecheck now. Falmouth able to get it out the center ice. Turner, but that's intercepted by Campbell. Campbell has it. She gains the line. She takes the shot. And there's another save by Devlin. So a good play there by Georgia Campbell. Able to pick up the loose puck. She keeps it in again. Campbell still has it right out in front. Tried to hit Lehan out in front. Hughes checks from behind. Cam uh, Penda's on it now. As Spinelli goes in to try and get it. She'll throw it back. Now Falmouth is to come out with it. Hostetter has it. That's over to Johnson. Johnson now takes it wide. Wide on Campbell. She still has it behind the net. Referee get out of the way. That's uh, thrown right out in front. That goes to Turner, but back comes Penders. She intercepted that one again. Can't get a quick change. So Penders all alone. She's going to try and take it into the corner. She's checked there by Vieira, but she throws it around. Maggie Daly on the floor check. Rosetto tries to keep it in, but that goes back to Kaylee Cohen. Cohen's going to go in the middle with it. Tried to hit Rosetto, but that's intercepted there by Sierra. Throws it down deep. Spinelli, good play to get it over to Kaylee Cohen. Kaylee Cohen's got a little running room. She gets it up to Lyons. Lyons gets it over the red line. Tries to throw it in, but Rosetto trying to get it now, but Spinelli has it. She's going to dump it into the corner. This could be icing, and this Pete. will be icing on Canton. Uh, Spinelli just couldn't get to that red line. I'll tell you, she's good up and down so far. Good at, up and down play. Canton is actually taking the play away a little bit. They've got, what, three or four quick shots on them. Um, Salma Cohen looks like she's fighting the puck just a little bit. They're not very clean saves, so I think they just keep firing the puck on the defense. Good job going uh, D to D to come out the um, 
off the side with no pressure. So stock in the corner as McLe McLean won that face off. That's going to go back to the point, though. Ferreira has it. She takes a shot. That's going to go wide. Cusack gets the rebound. That's going to go up to stock, but she loses her stick as McLean tries to get it now from Briggs. Go. But back comes Cusack. Cusack tries to go in. Oh, and Abby Stock with her, too. Just couldn't get around the defenseman. Cusack trying to get it. Now McLean has it. Backhands it towards Devlin, and she makes the save. Cusack right on the doorstep. So back comes Falmouth. Good play there by Izzy Cusack. Good back checking there. Taking that puck away from the Falmouth defense. Abby Stock has it. She's going to throw it in. But that's going to go back to Campbell now. Campbell tries to throw it out. It's going to go to Hostetter. She takes a shot and saved by, by uh, Mudway. Gonna go up the sideboards to Abby Stock. She's gonna try and move it out. She throws it down very lightly into the Falmouth zone. No ice in there. He's can't get the change again. Cusack on the forecheck. As back comes Falmouth now, Dicaccio has it. She takes a shot that's gonna be deflected up over the net. Spinale throws it up the boards along with Cusack. Devin Spinale has it again. She tries to go in the middle. Gets it to Cusack. Cusack goes cross ice. Oh, tried to hit uh, Kent Flair as she's breaking into the zone. So, uh, puck goes out the center ice. Kaylee Cohen banks it off the boards. Pender's on the four check now. Trying to get it. That should have oh, been offside. That should have been offside. Right right That's Johnson comes in. Oh, a big save by Budway. Oh, that definitely should have been offside. That's going to go around. Spinelli can't hold on to it. She lost her stick, but it goes out the center ice. Turner has it. She goes cross ice with it. Pentas now. She's going to dump it down deep. Spinelli goes after his can't get the change again. So Spinelli on the four check. In comes McLean. Falmouth trying to break it out. They do. They get it to the top field. But that's broken up there by the Canton defense. Abby Stock can't get it. So Spinelli has it now. She's going to dump it down. Now, Tori Carr has it. Tori Carr with a nice move. Gets it over to Campbell. That's going to go over to McLean. But that's broken up there by Ferreira. But intercepted by Carr, etc. So she gets over the line. She puts it on net. And it's saved by Devlin. Stock on the four check. Both teams trying to get it on the sideboards. As Falmouth able to break it out. That's going to go to Roth. Roth has it. She takes a shot. That's going to go over the net. Picked up by Riley Devlin. That's going to go around net to Roth. Roth has it. She throws it out front. That's going to go back to the point. Goes to Briggs. Briggs takes a shot. Oh, the big save by Budway. I think Campbell got her stick I, I, on it. I think it. This, uh, it was deflected out front, Pete. So behind the net now, Devlin has it. She's going to try and throw it out front. Turns. Fires it over the net. Canton trying to move that puck out. Abby Stock trying to get it now. As play on the sideboards. They do get it out, and that's going to go down into the Falmouth zone. As uh, Briggs has it, and that's intercepted there by Lehan. Lehan all alone. She takes a shot. Oh, and a big shot there on the shoulder of Devlin. Good shoulder and crossbar, I think, Pete. By Lehan, right off the bench, went into the top of the circle. So Canton trying to get the loose puck now. And there's another shot by Lehan. That's going to go wide. Back comes Briggs again, trying to uh, Spinelli trying to intercept that one. She's on the sideboards trying to get it. As uh, both teams, Grace Donahue trying to keep it in. Good play there by Donahue. She's upended, but no call there. And there's Donahue again has it. As the referee can't get out of the way. And back comes Spinelli. Spinelli has it. She's going to dump it down deep. Lehan on the, on the four check now. As fans are looking for a penalty there, Steve. There's not too many men on the ice. When you're at the bench changing like that, Pete, uh, it's not too many men because unless she plays the puck and no one played the puck. So uh, Johnson has it now in front of that. She's blocked there. So Falmouth trying to move it out, but that's blocked in front. Can't move it out of their own zone as Lions on the forecheck. That's going to go D to D over to Duffany. Duffany has it now. She's going to go all the way up to Johnson on the sideboard. She's at center ice. She gets over the line and she's blocked there by the Canton defense. But 
but back comes the air and she is offside. Yeah. As Falmouth could not clear the zone. Again. Yeah, number 20 Ferreira fell down in the zone and the defenseman coming in never saw him. I think that's only our third whistle of the first period, Pete. It's just been up and down, non-stop act. I'm tired, Steve. I'm out of breath. <laughs> I know, I haven't had a chance to jump in for you. <laughs> so face off just outside the Canton zone, Anna Lee hand on the face off with uh, Tenders and Spinelli. That's gonna go over to Pendles. Tries to throw it in, but broken up there by Ross. He's gonna go cross ice to Devlin. Devlin, Riley Devlin has it. On the sideboards, check there by Spinelli. Good play by Spinelli to check her. Devin Spinelli has it. Now she tries to go off the boards, but the referee's getting in the way again. Third or fourth time, the referees have gotten into the play. I, I so, mean, they, they're trying to get out of the way. I mean, they, you know, they do their best to get out of the way, but sometimes they Get in the way. Get in the way. Yeah. So Devin Spinelli has it now in her own zone. She gets it up to Spinelli. She tries to give it to Devin Spinelli, but uh, again the referee's in the, the way. the referee in the way again, and this will not be icing as uh, Kaylee Cohen's going to pick it up in her own zone. Cohen's going to go up to Pendus, but that's intercepted there by Turner. Turner over the line. She takes a shot. That's blocked by Spinelli. Turner still has it. She throws it right over. Oh, she tried to hit Johnson, and she fanned on that one. Puck still loose in front of the can. That net. was a great pass out front, Pete. So Turner trying to get it. Kaylee Cohen trying to move it now. Gets it up to Pendus. Pendus is going to throw it up, and she's going to go for it. Yeah, we, we got, got a penalty here. Oh, yeah. On number 12, Green so can't will go in the power play. That, that's just a stupid penalty right there, Pete. That was not even close to being in the play. Why are you doing that? You just gave Canton a two-minute penalty, a power play. That That's just... That, there's no need for that. If I was a coach of Falmouth, I'd be like, right at my player right now. So that's going to go on number 12, Rylan Briggs. We're great for great for Canton. Now we got the power play, but you know, that's just an a uncalled for play right there. So Canton with a huge opportunity here. McLean has it. She gets it back to Spinale. Spinale, Canton going to get in their setup. They give it. It's going to go over to McLean. She takes a shot. Oh, it hit the defense with a threat. McLean still has it. McLean gets it back to Cohen. Back to McLean on the sideboard. That's going to go in behind the net to Lehan. Lehan has it. She's checked there. Lehan trying to move it. She still has it. Lehan. Oh, and she loses it there. And she's going to hang on a high step puck. Good, uh, good penalty kill there by uh, Falmouth Defense. That was Cox from Falmouth able to ice that puck. So Canton going to start out with it. Cohen. That's going to go up to Lehan. Lehan. Nice pass up to McLean. McLean has it, drops it to Lehan, gets over the line, she takes it back. Oh, it's tipped in front by McLean, it's saved by Devlin. McLean still has it, that's gonna go back to Cohen. Cohen has it, back to uh, McLean, but she just moves it throughout the center ice. Tammy Cohen's gonna start out with it again. She's gonna go over to Spinale, and she's gonna dump it down, Canton's gonna chase. That was a great tip by McLean, Pete. So, puck in the Falmouth zone, picked up by Canton. McLean has it with a nice move, gets it into Lehan. 47 seconds left on the on the power play. Cusack has it. Cusack's gonna cycle it back from Lehan. So both teams trying to get it. And Falmouth's gonna pick up the loose pocket by that. That's 33 seconds left on the power play for Canton. Campbell behind her own net, gonna start out with it, gets it up to Lehan. Lehan's checked there by Turner. So Campbell gonna get it over to Tori Carr. Carr's gonna take it over the line. She makes a nice move at center ice. Tori Carr still has it. As Kenton getting a change here with 11 seconds left. So Tori Carr behind the Falmouth net. She still has it. Oh, she's cut Raffetto who came off the bench right out in front. Goes back to the point. And can't keep it in. And Friera has it now, but she's checked in by Tori Ka. Tori Ka looks like she's a little tired there. She went end to end. Yeah, and coming against a, a girl that just sat two minutes out of the box. So Maggie Daly on the sideboards along with Rafetto. A minute 30 left in the in the period. 
as both teams at full strength. Tori Kai has it now. She's going to try and move it. She's checked there by Devlin, but picked up by Raffetto. That's going to go up to Daly on, on the boards. Raffetto trying to move it. Daly trying to move it. That's going to go to Tori Kai. She turns, goes the other way with it, gets it up to Daly. She tries to bank it off the boards, but that's kept in again by the Falmouth defense. So Falmouth has the puck behind that. Oh, good play there by Campbell. To knock that one away. Daly has it. She's going to get it out to center ice. Good play there by Maggie Daly. Lions on the forecheck. And Falmouth's going to throw that ice one here. down. And that will not be icing as I don't think it made it to the line. So Devin Spinelli has it. She's going to start out with it. 50 seconds left in this period. Devin Spinelli throws it up to center ice. That's intercepted there by McLean. Oh, McLean tried to make a move. That was picked off there by Hostetter. She has it over the Canton line. She goes one-on-one -on, -one on Kaylee Cohen. It's going to go behind the net to Spinelli. Spinelli's going to try and throw it up to Cusack. That's going to be thrown behind the net again. McLean on the, trying to get that loose puck from Johnson. Johnson behind the net, but taken away by Devin Spinelli. And she's going to dump it out and down into a foul zone. And this will be icing on Tampa with 18 seconds left in this period. I'll tell you what a, what a period, Pete. Up and down both. Both uh, opportunities at both ends, uh, just a really good uh, game. What you expect in a quarterfinal game. Big face-off right here, 18 seconds left in the period. You don't want to give up a goal right now. That would give all the momentum going into the period, end of, end of the period, the Falmouth. So win the face-off, kill the 18 seconds, and go in 0-0. Uh, zero, zero. So McLean on the face-off, she's going to win that one. Tori Carr is just going to take it behind her own net. She's going to hold it there. Carr going to try and get it up to Cusack. Still behind the net there. As the seven seconds left, Tori Kai is just going to try and eat the puck behind the net as they don't want Falmouth to get a shot off, and that will do it in this period. Great job by Tori Kai. Zero, zero score here after one. Everything we thought it was going to be a great game up and down. Both goaltenders making some saves, Steve. And I'll tell you, I think it was, I, I call that one a draw. Yeah, it was a draw. Uh, beginning of the period, uh, first shift went to Falmouth, then Canton took over after that. They obviously had the uh, power play, but then Falmouth came back down, and uh, Katie made a couple good saves there when she had to, and uh, just a great game. Number two seed, seven seed, this is what you ask for in a state tournament game quarterfinals. No question, and a quick, quick period there. Very few whistles, so both teams need to get a breather. They're going to the dressing room, and we'll be right back with second period action. Our reputation on the road, Massachusetts. Slow down, pay attention, look both ways. Have a nice day! No, you have a nice day! Welcome back, hockey fans, here at the blog in Kingston, Massachusetts. Pete DeSisto, one with Steve Willis, bringing you all the exciting action as the Lady Bulldogs and the Lady Clippers of Falmouth play in the quarterfinals of the MIAA Division II tournament. And Steve, what a game so far. That uh, first period, I think you, you counted only four whistles. That was uh, just up and down there. Yeah, it was awesome. And now you like that, Pete. It gets everybody into the flow of the game. When you get a lot of whistles, there's really no flow. There's no, no feel to the game either side. And, and it makes for an exciting game for the fans. I mean, I know we're calling the game and you know, we're rooting for Ken, but uh, that was just an excellent hockey game for the first period. No question. So. Face off here in the second period. Anna Lee hands out there with Spinelli and Penders. And Penders gets the puck off the face off. She's going to try and fire it down. Lee Hand has it on the sideboard. She's going to go behind the net. Lee Hand stops. She still has it. Looks like the water stopped that one behind the net. As Lee Hand still on the four check, she's going to try and throw it up the boards. That's kept in by Canton again. Pen uh, Lee Hand again on the, on the four check. Now Penders. Kept in there by Campbell. Campbell fires it down. Canton still has the puck. Meehan in the corner. Tries to get it to Penn. That's going to go out front. Almost uh, on Spinelli's stick. Just couldn't get there. So back comes uh, back comes Falman. Spellman has it. She's going to dump it in. And behind the net, Campbell will take it. She throws it up the boards. Gets it up to Cusack. Cusack to throw it up into center ice. 
on the floor. Check Spinelli now. Spinelli, four checking deep as Canton getting a getting a, a, a change here. And that's thrown up and almost taken by Turner. Turner tips it down behind the net. She first one there to get it. Turner has it, waiting for some help out there. That goes back to the point. Duffany takes it up. Oh, a big save there by Budway. Good save, and Budway slid over and made that stop. Off of the shot from the point by Duffany. So Canton able to get it out of their zone. Thomas is going to come right back, though. Here's Johnson throwing it in, along with Turner. Johnson has it, takes it out. Oh, by the way, with the save. And Thomas puts the rebound in. A nice play coming off the sidewall. Feet. Budway made a great save, but Thomas came out of the corner and put the rebound under her stick. So that was, I believe that's going to be number seven. Dave Turner put that one in off the rebound as the right feet came right off the sideboard, right in, in front. And it was either her or number two, Johnson. And we think it was Turner that got that goal. Not much Budway could do on that no, one. No, she made a great save on the first one, but uh, no one there to help out with the rebound on that one. So on the faceoff here, McLean has Canton down one to nothing. And Falmouth going to try and break out of their own zone. Devlin has it. She's going to throw it in zone. Budway saves that one. Leaves it for Spinelli. Spinelli has it. She's going to stop. Go the other way. She throws it up the board. Cusack. Cusack trying to move it up. Gets it to McLean. McLean gets it out. She pushes it ahead down into the Falmouth zone. The foot race there. Fiera comes out with it. But McLean has it. She throws it right out in front. That's going to go back to Kaylee Cohen in the corner. Now Cusack has it. Cusack's going to go cross ice to Spinelli. Behind the net. Spinelli tries to throw it in. Now goes right in on Devlin. McLean right there, but couldn't get her stick it, on it. it. Almost off a step in this period to start the period. Pete. Off a little step, uh, waving at some passes, not getting it on the stick, making a firm, hot pass uh, to the teammate. So face off in the foul, but zone. Anna Lehan on the face off out there with the finale and Pendis. Beck's going to go back to Donahue. She takes a shot. Oh, and the rebound right up front. Puck was still loose. Devlin made the save. Good shot there by Donahue. Uh, you know what's great about that, Pete? You see how hard the girls went to the net after they shot the puck? They were there digging at the goal and waiting for the whistle. Uh, uh, that's good. That's what you need to see. That was Penders in front. Almost put that one in. So Lee Hand on the face off. Oh. In the Falmouth zone. She's going to get it back to Donahue again. She takes a shot. Oh. A deflection in front, and Donahue puts that one in. Yeah, right off the defenseman, off the escape feet. That's exactly what you're looking for. Not even, what, a minute later, they scored to tie the game up. And, you know, after the goal, you can see Kim get, didn't get down. They just came right down, put the pressure on, and they got a goal, tied it up 1-1. So two plays in a row. Donahue takes the shot. The first one gets stopped. Second one after the faceoff comes right back, deflects off the foul with defenseman and into the net. So ties it up one to one. Key, key. they won the faceoff both times. Too. So faceoff at center ice. As Falmouth's going to try and move it up. That goes to center ice. That's stopped by Cohen. Cohen tries to throw it down. Now Spinelli's going to hop as Fiera trying to move it. Fiera checks Spinelli. Lehan comes in to help out. The hand behind the net, she's going to leave it for Ferreira, who tries to bank it out. Hits the, uh, takes an odd bounce off the board. The hand throws it up to, to uh, Turner. That's intercepted there by Cohen. But Falmouth's going to dump it down deep. Falmouth's going for a change here. Finale has it. Tries to throw it up the boards and stop there. Now Cohen behind her own net. Cohen's going to fire it up. Can't connect with Pendis. That's going to be a shot, but blocked in front by Lehan. Anna Lehan's going to start out with it. She gains the red line and dumps it in. Good play there by Lehan. They're going to go for a wholesale change here. All five skaters. Back comes Falmouth now. As that's going to go out the center ice, Corey Carr has it. As Stock tripped up there at center ice. That goes to McLean with a nice move. McLean gains the line. She takes a shot. Oh, a save by Devlin. As she tried to use the defenseman break as a screen. Good play there by McLean. <laughs> Uh, great play out there, uh, Pete. You know, any shot's a good shot right now. You know what I mean? I think the goal is a little rattled after giving that goal up on the deflection. So face off, McLean 
going to win that one, but that's going back down into the corner. Cusack has it. Dizzy Cusack cycles it back to McLean. McLean has it behind. Next, she throws it out front. Oh, Jess couldn't connect. McLean has it again. She's going to throw it down into the corner. It's picked up by Roth. Check there by Stock. Cusack on the four check. Puck still on the sideboards. Both teams trying to come out with it. It's going to be behind the net now as Vieira has it now. Vieira will throw it up the boards. Ostetta throws it up. She gets it to Devlin. Oh, great play there. Great play by Tori Carr. And Kenton comes out with it now. Stark has it. Gets it to Cusack. Cusack gets it in the zone. And that will be offside on Kenton. And Tori Carr just offside. Abby, Abby Stark just a little late getting it up to Izzy Cusack. And uh, Tori Carr had a head of steam going. Uh, but that's okay. That line needed a change anyway. We'd rather get a face off deep in the zone. But, you know, any change you can get. Coaches roll on the lines pretty quick, so that's okay. So third unit for Canton out there, Raffetto, Daly, and Lyons. And Canton's gonna win that one. As Donahue scored that goal, tried to fire it up. And we're gonna have a penalty on Canton. As it looks like Lauren Raffetto is gonna go to the box and trip it. So I, think, I think it's George sorry, Lyons. It's, sorry, I'm sorry, it's Cassidy, Cassidy Lyons. Lyons. Sorry. He's gonna go out for tripping, so this will be a huge opportunity. For foul, but as this pre-shot will be come, come right uh, down. I mean, un oh. unfortunately, they're going for the puck, trying to hit the puck, and they hit the girl's skate at the same time. And that's tripping, but... So out there on the penalty kill for Fetto and Daly, with Spinelli and Kaylee Cohen. Falmouth's going to win that one. That goes to Turner. Tries to get it back to the defense. Briggs throws it in, but that's intercepted by Canton. Good play there by Cohen. Cohen has it. She comes out of the zone. She tries to make a move. Dumps it down deep. It's a foot race now. Her and Briggs. Briggs. Haley Cohen comes out front. Oh, almost put it in. Good play by Spinelli. That's a really good right play. In. Good heads up play by Spinelli to throw that one down deep. Back comes Falmouth. Now Fierro gets it up. Center right can't hit Johnson. And Cohen's going to fire it down again. Back into the Falmouth zone. Stephanie picks it up behind her own net. She's going to start out with it. Stephanie loses it there. Good play by Maggie Daly. That's going to go cross ice, but no one there. And Corey Kai's going to step up with it. She has it. She's going to try and lean into the net. Takes a shot. Just goes wide. Corey Kai. Oh, good play by the defenseman on the sideboards, taking valuable seconds off the clock. And this is going to go wide back to Turner. Turner, who scored that first goal, has Johnson with her. Turner holds it. She drops it for Johnson. Johnson. Johnson behind the net now. Page, uh, Bulldogs have another penalty. We have another penalty. Oh, big stop there in front by the defense. And we are going to have a high sticking ball on Kent. And that's going to go on Tory Carr, I believe. Really? I, don't, I didn't even see that beat. Did, I not, I did not see that. 42 seconds left this on is the big... original penalty. So Kent. Two men down now. Yeah, this is a big kill right now, Pete. You got now it's just about icing him. Stay in your triangle and just ice the puck. So on the faceoff is Lauren Raffetto. She's out there with Kaylee Cohen and Donahue. So this is a big faceoff here, Raffetto. That's gonna go back to Donahue. Donahue, Donahue has it. She's gonna fire it out, and it will get out into center ice. And back comes Falmouth, now Briggs has it. She gets ahead of steam up, she gets over the line. She get, drops, drops it for Roth, takes a shot. What a big save there by Budway. Picks it out of the air and she holds it. That's great, that's a good face-off, Pete. They just killed 20 seconds. They got 25 to go on the first penalty. Uh, no, Katie does a great job of it and she knows any whistle is a good whistle right now with two men down. So on the face-off, Cusack dealt there with Kaylee Cohen and Spinelli. Cusack's going to win that one. Back to Devin Spinelli. He's going to try and throw it up the boards. That's going to go on the sideboards. That goes back to Briggs at speed. That's going to go over to Devlin. Devlin has it. Back to Briggs at the point. Oh, oh, nice by nice Cusack. play by Cusack. Good play by Cusack to block that one. Falmouth still has control. That's going to go back to Briggs again. Oh, hit the post. Hit the post. But still in the Canton zone now. That's going to go towards the net. Oh, the big save by Budway. And Canton gets one player back. I'll tell you, Pete, that was a great save. The Falmouth girl, number 27 there, uh, 
What's her Fiera. name? Fiera. Fiera. She tipped it, and Mudway saw it the whole way and got it in her chest there. That was a great save by Katie. So Canton gets one player back. So on the faceoff is McLean. And she's going to win that one to Spinelli. She throws it out to center ice. So Cusack on the forecheck here. Canton. One minute left on the power play for, for, for Falmouth. No call there. Wow, that should be holding on the stick, if anything. No you, question you know? there. Falmouth now has a three on two. Devlin gains the line. She tries to turn Campbell. Devlin still has it. Tries to throw it out front. Canton trying to move it out now. Behind the net. Spinelli has it. Devin Spinelli. She has it. Nice stick handling. Almost gets it out. She's broken up there. Campbell has it now. Campbell. Turns, goes the other way, throws it up the boards to McLean. It's kept in by Devlin. Campbell again behind the net. Hostetter has it behind the net. She's going to move it. Still carrying it. That's broken up there. I can't just couldn't get it out, but there's Lehan. Lehan with a pass of breakaway. She lost her uh, blade of her skate. So Lehan has it, takes a shot. Oh, and what a save there by Devlin. McLean lost McLean the blade of her skate, Pete. Lost the blade of her skate. And she's uh, hobbling back to the uh, back to the uh, bench, and she has to get that one tended to and get that fixed yeah, pretty I mean, quickly. I mean, That's a another, big loss for Kent. Huge loss. You have another pair of skates in your bag. So face off in the Falmouth zone. 13 seconds left on the power play for Falmouth. Lee Hand on the face off. She wins that one. Johnson trying to move it out. Canton steps up. There's Kaylee Cohen fires it towards the net. That's going to go wide as uh, Falmouth now trying to move it out. That goes out the center ice, Johnson has it. One on one on Kaylee Cohen. Kaylee Cohen with a nice block. She still has it. Cohen banks it off the boards, gets it up. As Canton gets, is, uh, they're all at full strength here. Canton able to get that player back. Spinelli has it, tries to go wide. And she does, she gets it over to Georgia Campbell. Campbell has it, she stops. I'm sorry, Georgia Pendis. Pendis throws it around the boards. Pendis still digging far, trying to get that loose puck. Johnson comes out with it. But stopped there by Spinelli. She's got Pendis out in front. Spinelli still has it. She turns it up, now takes a shot. Just goes wide. That's picked up by Vieira. It's checked there by, by Pendis. Puck's gonna go down into the corner. Spinelli and Lehan trying to get it. Both teams trying to get control in the, in the Falmouth zone. And out comes Falmouth Turner. Turner comes out with it. He gets over the blue line. Turner has it. So fired in on Bud, on Budway. And Budway very smartly Steve, there, ties that one up. Yeah, she could tell the girls with a little tie in there, Pete. Nice tie up. She got a full plate change right now. This could be a big loss for Canton, Pete, if she can't, if uh, McLean Dora can't uh, fix that skate. Yeah, no question there. That is uh, uh, one, of your, one of your key cogs on the first line. So face off in the Canton zone. Raffetto on the face off. She's going to win that one. As Canton trying to get control, Raffetto's going to throw it up the Lions. The Lions trying to move it out. Raffetto trying to kick it out. That's going to be <coughs> down into the Canton zone. Campbell has it. Campbell turns, gets it up the Lions. Over to Raffetto. She's going to try and move it out. Finally, Canton able to get it out of the zone. Maggie Daly trying to get control now. Maggie Daly, good hustle there. Able to tie the defense, but up and she's hauled down and no call on that one either. Wow, oh, that's, a, that's another one right there, Pete. A missed call by the referee on that one. So Falmouth trying to move it out of their own zone. Briggs has it. Lions tries to get it. It's gonna go cross ice. Tori Carr right there though. Carr has it. She's gonna flip it into the Falmouth zone. Briggs has it. Raffetto trying to gain control. Raffetto will throw it down, but that's intercepted there by Briggs. And she's going to come out of the zone with it. Briggs has it. She dumps it down into the Canton zone. Campbell now has it. Campbell has a little bit of running room here. She gets it up to Lions. That's intercepted in front. Canton trying to move it out. That's kept in by Briggs again. She's going to dump it down. Johnson on it now. Johnson able to pick up the loose puck. Lions trying to get it. Tori Carr in the corner. And that's going to run in front of and a good defensive play there by Campbell. That was and a great that, defensive play right there, Pete. That, that would have been a great shot on net, but uh, she got a stick in the way. And that's going to be into the Falmouth zone as Canton gets a wholesale change. Oh, that's broken up by Lehan. Lehan takes a shot. 
And again, Devlin with the save right off the bench. And a lead hand able to pick up the loose puck. Ah, Get great. the shot on net. Great move. Great move. Great glove save by the goalie. But just keep Fryer in the puck. I think you need to get him a loose. She got a good glove hand. Even though she was down early, she got that glove hand going for uh, the Falmouth goalie right now. So face off in the Falmouth zone. Lee Hand's going to push it to the corner. Penders on it along with uh, along with Spinelli. As Falmouth trying to move it out. Fiera has it. She goes right wide over, over to the Turner. Turner has it. She takes the shot. Oh! Tipped off the kid in the fence. And it looks like it might have hit the post. So Canton dodged the bullet on that one. Kaylee Cohen behind her own net. She's going to come out with it. She cuts back into the middle. Kaylee Cohen throws it out of the ice. And there's going to be a call on Falmouth. About time the refs yeah. got that one. Yeah. Kaylee Cohen, she drew that penalty. Oh, team. she definitely drew it. Maybe a little embellishment too, but uh, if they're not going to call them the other way when they're legit penalties, um, you know, maybe you do have to go down a little easier than normal because she's a really good skater. So that's a big penalty on uh, Falmouth. That's number two, Johnson. She gets a lot of minutes out there. So Kent with a big opportunity here. Lee hand on the faceoff. You want to win the faceoff like you did on the last goal, Pete. Out there with McLean. She's going to win that one. It's going to go over to Cohen, over to Spinale. Spinale tries to flip it in. That's blocked in front by Canton, but Falmouth able to dump it down. Cohen stops it at center ice. Kaylee Cohen with it now. She tries to get it into the Falmouth zone, and she does. She tips it in as that's going to go behind the net on Vieira. Now McLean has it. Good to see McLean back on the ice. She got that skate fix. Goes back to Spinale now. Over to over to Cohen. Cohen at the top. Gives it over to Devin Spinale. Back to Cohen. That's going to go into Cusack. Cusack tried to make a move, but Spinale able to keep it in. Back to Cohen. Over to McLean. She takes a shot. What a big save by Devlin. He had Lee Hand right in front with the tip. Lee Hand still has it. Gives it to McLean, but that's intercepted there. Now Lee Hand trying to keep it in. As Vieira trying to move it. Cusack has it. Oh, she hit the post. Came out of the corner and hit the post. Izzy Cusack. That goes back to the point now. Kaylee Cohen has it. Takes the shot. Oh, with the screen in front, Lee Hand. But that went wide. So Kenton has it on the sideboards now. Devin Spinale has it. She's going to dump it in. That'll go into the corner. Picked up by Duffany. Oh, set all the way around, but kept in by Kaylee Cohen. Kaylee Cohen banks it off the boards. Kept in by Spinale. She's got some room to go in. Takes it wide. Devin Spinale still has it. That goes back to Tori Carr. Carr takes a shot. Blocked in front. Kept in by Carr again. Takes a shot. Oh, it hit the post again. Oh, can't Almost looked like it hit the inside of the net. Pete. It's a shooting gallery right now. Canton trying to keep it in. That's picked up by Devlin. Devlin has has a player with her. Back over to Devlin. Can't control it. Goes right out in front. Canton trying to move it out now. Canton trying to get it out of the zone. Roth throws it in, but that's intercepted by Campbell. Campbell has some running risk. We have a three on two for Canton. Campbell has it. Campbell still has it. Has Cusack with her. Campbell throws it to the corner. Cusack has it. She's going to come out of the corner with it. Tries to go around the neck. Can't fire it out in front. That's going to go back to Lee. And that's just a fan on that shot. Campbell still has it. She's going to throw it down deep as McLean's going to go after it as both teams are at full strength. I'll tell you, what an up and down up and game down. That was here. a good power play, Pete. They got a couple of shots on that, but, and Falmouth did a good job penalty killing, but uh, really good uh, power play. So back comes Canton again. As McLean, she has a partial break. Trying to get around the defenseman, Fiera, and no call on that either. So back comes Fiera, she's got the puck. She's on Purser. Fiera has it, goes out in front with it, takes a shot, and she scores! Yeah, she got the puck, she stole it right back and put it right between Katie Budway's pad. That's too bad, Pete. Uh, that, that was definitely a penalty down here, and it's just, uh, I don't know what they're looking at right now. No question, that was a penalty on uh, on Falmouth as, as McLean tried to go in. But number 20, Haley takes it end to end. Took the shot, I think it got tipped. Uh, Deflected, but back on her stick and she was able yeah. to take the shot and put it past Budway. That's okay, they'll shake it off like they did the first time and come right back. So Falmouth comes right back, they throw it into the corner. One minute left in the period. Falmouth up two to one. Spinale has it now. 
Devin Spinelli comes into center ice. She's got a head of steam. She gains the line. Spinelli tries to throw it towards the net. Picked up by Raffetto. Raffetto has it now. It's going to go back to the point. Cohen. Cohen tried to back it up and move. Couldn't do it. And back comes number nine, Hofstetter. She leaves it for Devlin. Devlin takes a shot. And that's blocked by Spinelli. And that looked like that one hurt. And yeah, that, she caught that bench. up high, I think, Pete. That hurt. So Falma trying to get a shot on net. 26 seconds left. Devlin has it behind the net. Throws it right in. Oh, and a big save by Fedway. What a big save, stop Pete. stop there, point blank. Great play from behind the net. She came out to the slot and uh, got it on a stick. Oh, one shot for Katie was there. Read it really nice. So 21 seconds left in this period. Two to one to score. Falma up. Falma's kind of feeling it after that goal right there, Pete. Cam's got to settle down a little bit, get through the 21 seconds, get into the locker room. So Anna Lehan on the faceoff, on the faceoff against Pereira. Pereira scored that last goal. Hunter's trying to get it. Canton trying to get control. They don't want to get a shot off here. As Canton trying to move it out, they do. They get it out of the zone. As Hunter has it now, she's going to go back into her own zone. Check there by Spinelli. Hunter has it, she's gonna dump it into the Canton zone. As that will do it in the period. As Falma able to put a goal up, yeah, two goals up I'd say, but it's two to one. Canton able to come back from that one goal de deficit um, like a minute later, able to put that puck in the net. And uh, Canton has some good opportunities, Steve, but Falma able to go ahead in that period. Yeah, I mean, it's been up and down, just like the first period. Uh, taking advantage of their opportunities more in this period, both both teams. Uh, a lot of penalties in this period, could have been a lot more, had the, uh, you know, called what they should have called, but excellent game, a very good game, a number two seed, seven seed, it's just, this is what, two to one going into the last period. Uh, this is what you look for in a state tournament game. I tell you, I'm impressed, Steve Budway, she let that goal up, not necessarily her fault, but she, she let that goal up. Falma came right back put a couple big shots on that, and she held her ground and made some big stops. Big saves, because you don't know what that, I mean, those that could be the save that uh, saves the game. You know, can't come back in the third period, score a couple of goals, but again, pretty even game, up no and question. down, each team getting their opportunities, but we'll uh, see. We'll see, we got 15 minutes to go. One period left, so stay tuned, hockey fans. We'll be right back with all the exciting action in the third period. Got a friend who can't give up vaping? Don't give up on them. Learn how to help them quit. Get the facts, no filters, at mass.gov slash vaping. Welcome back, hockey fans, to the bar in Kingston, Massachusetts. We've got the Sister with Steve Willis as we bring you all the exciting action in this quarterfinal game between the Lady Bulldogs and the Lady Clippers of Falma and Steve. I'll tell you, everything we had hoped it would be, a great game, up and down action. Falmouth up by one goal going into this third period, but never come getting out of it. No, absolutely not. They've actually played two very good periods. Uh, I think a bad break on the last goal, but that's okay. You know, they bounce back after the first goal. I, I see him bouncing back again. We got 15 minutes of uh, tremendous high school tournament hockey. And uh, let's see what happens here. I think they're going to do it. First unit for Canton out there, Lehan with Spinelli and Pendens out there. Campbell and Kyle on defense. Falmouth's going to win that one. That's going to go into the zone. Hostetter has it. She takes the shot. That's going to go wide. Spinelli on the puck. She gets it back. That's going to go back to the point. And there's a shot. That's going to go wide. So Falmouth starting out in the Canton zone here. Puck on the sideboards. Canton trying to gain control. Falmouth is going to go back to. Ferreira, but that's uh, Lehan is it, uh, broken up there at center ice. Lehan's going to try and pick it up. Spinelli takes it. She dumps it down deep. Canton changes the defense. On the four check is Penders. Lehan trying to get it. Falmouth's going to move it out, but Kaylee Cohen able to push it back up ice. Falmouth has to clear the zone as Hostetter has it. She drop, drops it back. That's Ferreira with it. She's going to dump it in. Lehan has it now. Ferreira again is going to dump it down and Falmouth has to clear the zone. And Falmouth going for a wholesale change. As Devin Spinelli has it, she's going to take it out of her own zone. 
she gets it to Kaylee Cohen. Cohen intercepted there. Spinelli has it now. Devin Spinelli again trying to move it out. But that's broken up by Hunter. Hunter has it, takes a shot. Oh, the big thing. they going to call it a goal. They called it a goal. That's unfortunate, Pete. They had three chances to get that puck out of the zone, and, and uh, they just didn't do it. And Katie had the save. It just got underneath her glove and crossed over the line. So Falmer for the big goal here early in this third period. They're up three to one. Now they got the work cut out for them, Pete. So tough goal to give up, like you said, Steve. They were trying to get the puck out. They had three chances to get it out of the zone. It just couldn't move it out. And a little so, standing around. You know, they're watching the puck carrier instead of giving the uh, an outlet pass, uh, making it an easy outlet pass for her. So Campbell has it. She's going to dump it down into the Falmouth zone. McLean, the first one on it. McLean's going to throw it down to Cusack. Cusack behind the net. That goes up to Hunter. Hunter I'm sorry, Turner. Turner. Uh, she, that's her second goal of the night. Turner was in a third goal in for uh, Falma. Johnson in a foot race from Cusack now. Can't be able to pick up the loose puck. That's going to go up the boards to stop. Can't control it there. Tori Carr has it now. Tori Carr going to start out of her own zone. She gets it up to Cusack. Cusack tries to push it up. That's blocked there. That's going to be picked up by Georgia Campbell. Campbell has it. She's going to dump it down deep and can't again going for a change. Again, again, Pete, the, the, the forwards without the puck are standing and watching the puck carrier. They need to get their feet moving. So Hunter gets it up to Roth. Roth tries to move it in. Good play there by, by Donahue. Donahue behind the net. Donahue scored the goal. Donahue loses it in the puddle behind the head, by, behind the net. So Devlin, that's gonna get that over to Hostetter. Back to Devlin. Devlin tries to throw it out front. Donahue trying to get it. That goes to Hofstetter. Oh, and a big save there by Budway. That's gonna go to Spinelli. Spinelli gonna go wide. Tried to get it up. That Falmouth's gonna dump it down deep again. Anna Lehan's gonna start out with it behind her own net. Lehan stops, goes the other way. And she's checked there by Hostetter. So again, Canton having trouble getting out of their own zone. Lehan has it. Stops, goes the other way again. And it's gonna go up. Too many men on the ice. Spinelli tips it and that'll she be played, She played the puck, Pete. That's why. If she had let it go, they would have got away with it, but she played the puck. So Canton with a big opportunity here, down by two goals. 11.50 left in the third period, and Falmouth is going to have a penalty here. And they're going to call too many men on the ice. And Falmouth has to put somebody in the box. As uh, Canton trying to set their lineup up. Does it, does it have to be somebody on the ice, or is it somebody they're choosing? I think it's somebody they're choosing. I think they can put anybody in there, okay. I believe. Okay. So they're gonna put Devlin in there. So maybe Riley Devlin, good player. I'm surprised at that. But yeah. So face off in the foul that's old. Lee Han out there with Cusack and McLean. Lee Han's gonna win that one. That goes to Cusack. Cusack has it. Gets it back to Spinelli. Spinelli banks it off the boards. Nobody there. And that's gonna be fired down to the Canton zone, where Kaylee Cohen's gonna start out with it. Haley Cohen, nice move, trying to get out of her own zone. She's got a head of steam now. She has a three on two here. She's got McLean with her. Get it over McLean. She takes the drop. On oh, a big save by Devlin. Good passing there by the Don. Great passing, Pete. The only thing I don't like about it, after you get the shot, all the cannon play is skating away from the net. No, that's when you're going to attack the net. You need to stand there, put her right in front of the goalie in case she drops it. So Lee hit. Lee hit on the faceoff. Lehan out there with Cusack and McLean. Lehan's gonna win that one. That goes back to Donahue, takes a shot. Oh, save! Right up and it's gone! Andy Cusack on the rebound! That's what we're looking for, Pete. Only two minutes, not even two minutes after the third goal. So we're back to a one-goal game with 11 minutes to go in the game. And that's what we're talking about. In front of the net, crashing the net, looking for the rebound. And Grace Donahue, I think she's gonna get the assist on that one, the freshman. 
She scored the first one off a tip, and now she puts that one on net, and Izzy Cusack right in front of the net, able to put the rebound in. Yeah, Gracie Donning is having a really good game for herself, see. So face off at center ice, strength. That's it. Pulls within one here. Three to two the score. As we have a little clock problem here, so the referees are going to solve that one. But I'll tell you, Steve, what a comeback there for Kim. Good passing on that power play. That was excellent passing, Pete. They weren't standing still, they were moving. And that's what they have to do. They have to get their feet moving, get the forwards moving. When the defense has the puck, go, give them a break, give them a lane, give them a pass. So on the faceoff here, McLean, that's going to be pushed back to Devin Spinelli. Spinelli's going to get it up to Cusack. That's going to go into the... Duffany throws it over to Johnson. As Stark intercepts that, Abby Stark gets it into the zone. She tries to go towards the net. Going to be thrown behind. Duffany has it now. As McLean forechecks her, Duffany stops, goes the other way, gets it up to Turner. And she throws it out, but uh, Spinelli able to get it. Spinelli's going to throw it into the zone. Getting trying to get the loose puck. Stock has it. Stock trying to throw it in. She's checked there. Turner trying to get it. Spinelli gives it over to Cohen. Cohen trying to move it up. Blocked there by Fiera. But that's intercepted by Stock. She takes a shot and is saved by Devlin. First one in is Spinelli. Spinelli has it in the corner. As Canton trying to get a change. She's got McLean coming in to help out now as she's checked there. Puck still in the corner as Falmouth trying to move it out. Turner has it, she gets it to center ice, but she's stopped there by Tori Carr. Tori Carr with a nice play. Tori Carr gets it in the zone, just moves it to Vieira. Good play by the Falmouth back checker. Pete just knocked it away from her. Kept in by Campbell, she takes a shot, that's gonna go wide. Spinelli trying to get the loose puck. Lehan now tries to keep it in. Falmouth has to start over again. Duffany gets it out to Johnson at center ice, and she's gonna dump it in. That'll go behind the net. As Falmouth getting a change now. It's gonna go around the Tory Carr. Carr has it, tries to move it out. Lehan tried to get it. Lehan has it now. She goes cross ice. The Penders back to Lehan. Lehan has it. She gets over the line. Lehan trying to make a move. Takes a shot that's gonna go over the net. Penders tries to take the shot off the rebound. Just fanned on that one, but back comes Falmouth again. That was a nice give and go for Canton there, Pete. Devlin has it, but she stopped there by Campbell. Campbell, nice pass over to Pendles. Back up to Campbell. Campbell, I mean, I'm speaking Spinelli. Spinelli has it. She takes a shot on Devlin, and she makes the save. Good passing there by the dog. Yeah, the girls from that goal, since that goal, Pete, they've really picked up the pace. The pass is a lot crisper this time. Okay, they, they, they kind of straightened out a little bit. Instead of looking at the play, they're making it happen. So face off in the Falma zone. Second unit for Canton out there, Nora McLean out there with Cusack. Cusack scores the second goal on that power play along with Abby Spock. So Canton gonna win that one. It goes back to Cohen, she takes a shot through a screen. And a big save I, by Devlin. I don't know how she saw, saw that beat because that was through a, a, a three person screen and it made it through there. And, uh, she, she saved it because it was right at her. That was off to the side, on either side, that was in the net. So McLean again on the faceoff. McLean, she's uh, found what's gonna win that one. That goes in the corner, but McLean able to pick it up. McLean has it, tries to cycle it down. Cusack trying to help out now. Falmouth trying to break it out of their own zone, and they do, they get it up. That's Johnson, gets into the Canton zone, but good back checking by Abby Stock. Canton able to get her, start to move it out of their own zone. Spinelli gets it up the center ice, but she loses it. And back comes Falmouth again. They gotta dump it down into the Canton zone. Kaylee Cohen has it now. 8.31 left in the third period. Kaylee Cohen with a head of steam. She gets through center ice, and she picked up! And there's a call! And Canton's gonna get a push! A power play here with 8.21 left in the again, third period. You, you know what, Pete, when your feet are moving, when you're skating, and you're not 
the foul the players weren't skating. She was just out skating there, and that's a lazy penalty. Just take her feet out from uh, under her. Now we get another power play. Good chance to tie the game up. Scared me a little bit, Steve. The, the referee in the back called the penalty. Yeah. The referee in the front looking at the play didn't even call it. I don't know how it works nowadays. Who gets the ball? Who Not sure they the do either, hand. Steve, unfortunately. <laughs> so Canton on the power play. Oh, big shot there by Donahue. So face off, I mean, I'm sorry, Lehan has it. She's gonna come right up. She's oh! going! Lehan scores out of the corner! From behind the net, Pete. Went off the goalie's pad and in the corner. We got a 3-3 three -three game with eight minutes to go. Oh, yeah. as Tim just uh, picks up the pace on that, from that first power play. And down the, they, they don't they don't know what to hit him right now. So Anna Lehan. Puck goes into the corner as that's her, that's where she sets up. She was able to take that puck right out from behind the net. Just got to the goal line and put it between the post and Devlin's pad. So Kitten ties it three to three. Go face off the center ice for Petal out there with Maggie Daly and Lyons. Lyons gets the puck and she tripped up and there's no call. I don't know about this. Well, you, you know, that, that would be the third one this period. You, uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I penalty's know, a penalty is a penalty. So, puck in the Falmouth zone. Campbell keeps it in. So that's going to go back to the point again. Campbell trying to keep it in. Maggie Daly has it now. She fires it off the board and puts it in. And, and back comes Raffetto. She's got Lions out front. Tried to hit Lions, couldn't connect there. And back comes Falmouth. Raff has it. Over to Devlin. Devlin with the shot. Oh, the big stop by, by uh, Pugway. Puck thrown back to the point. Falmouth trying to move it in. But Kaylee Cohen intercepts that one. Kaylee Cohen has it. She's going to get the set eyes as Canton getting the change. Kaylee Cohen still has it. She's going to go around the net looking for the open man. Oh, head, head Lee hit out in front. Couldn't connect there. As Lee hit was buried. Buried in front, Pete. Cross check. Cross check from behind. So no call oh, there. So Canton trying to move the puck up. Spinelli trying to get it. Now Lehan on it. Back comes Johnson. Johnson gets over the line. But good back checking there by, by Lehan. She's able to dump it out. Falmouth has to clear the zone. Pendis throws it up now. Turner has it. Now Canton has it. Pendis has it again. She gets over the line. She gets to the circle. Takes the shot. Oh, and a big save by Devlin. Rebound into the corner, Spinelli trying to get it as Johnson will start out with it. Johnson goes cross ice, throws it up, but that's intercepted by Campbell and that's gonna be thrown out of the Canton zone. Ferreira has it, that goes up to Johnson. Good play there by Stock. Campbell behind her own net, tied up there. Both teams trying to get control. Campbell comes out with it though. Georgia Campbell's gonna start out with it. Tries to go to center ice to Spinelli. Can't connect there. McLean trying to get it. McLean's gonna push it ahead. And she tripped up again! No call there. So Johnson has it now. Johnson starts out with it for Falmouth. She's checked there by Stock. Good play by Abby Stock. Picked up there by Cusack. Cusack has it. She's gonna get into the Falmouth zone. She's checked. She's checked by Ferreira. That goes up front home. McLean tipped it towards the net, just goes wide. Stock has it, now McLean, McLean gets to the circle. Takes the shot, that's gonna go just wide. Gonna go all the way back to Kaylee Cohen. Cohen has it on the sideboards. Back to Cohen, takes the shot. Green in front, another save by Devlin. And Falmouth's gonna ice that puck. One of two great saves by Devlin. So that puck gonna go all the way into the Canton zone. And tripped up again! And Falmouth takes a shot on that. That's going to go wide. Cusack able to pick up the loose puck. The refs are not calling anything. It's Steve. mayhem, Pete. It's Bedlam. Bedlam. And that's going to be offside on Falmouth. The Canton parents out here, the fans of Canton are going crazy. Three questionable non calls. Wow. I'll, I'll tell you, Steve. I, those were all so, penalties. They were all penalties. No question. All penalties. I don't you know. You got a what couple of trips, a cross check at. in front of the net. Come on now, don't, don't, don't be part of the game. Just Four, call the game. 454 left. Raffetto gets the puck. She's gonna dump it down deep. As Canton go with their third unit out there. Behind the net, Vieira. 
Duffany has it. She's going to throw it up. That's almost intercepted by Campbell. Thrown back into the Falmouth zone as Duffany has it. She's going to get it back to Vieira. She's going to start out with it. Oh, they're trying to go for the Hail Mary there. Trying to get it to Roth, but picked up by Georgia Campbell. Kept in there by Turner. Good play there by the Canton uh, back checking. And good play by Raffetto to dump it all the way down. Canton going to get a wholesale change here. Lions on the four check. Falmouth just going to throw it up. Check there by Spinelli. That's picked off by Lehan. Lehan, check there. Kept in by Spinelli. Takes a shot. Oh, it just goes wide. So Canton getting their opportunities. That's going to go over to Kaylee Cohen. She's going to go cross ice. Can't connect with Penders. As Turner gets it now, Turner's going to slide it back to Vieira. That's going to step up. Good play there by Kaylee Cohen. Cohen has it again. She's going to dump it down deep. On the four check is Penders. What a game this is, I'll tell you. Oh, action, this is unbelievable, action. Pete. Up and down action. Canton has really stepped up the pace since they scored the second goal. So Penders on the four check. They're going to, Falmouth's going to try and throw it out. That's going to go to center ice, but picked up by Anna Lehan. Lehan has it. She's going to try and get it in the zone, and she tries to dump it in, but that's going to go into the Falmouth bench, and that'll be a whistle, so that faceoff will be at center ice with 3.20 left in the third period. Three to three to score. And I'll tell you what, Pete, after the, after the three, four questioning calls, the, the pace of the game actually slowed down a lot. Um, I'd like to see Canton get back. Falmouth calling a timeout with Pete with three minutes left in the game. You know what? I think he feels that Canton has the, uh, the momentum right now. Steve, I also think they're only playing two lines. I think, I think they're trying, tired. I think he's trying to get them a rest because I'll tell you, Canton is all over them right now. But it also benefits Canton. Now they can come right back with their first line too, Pete. So 3.20 left in this game. Stay tuned, hockey What fans. a game. This is unbelievable. A packed house here at the Bog. Canton well represented by the students and the parents and friends and family and everyone else. And your trusted cable staff is here bringing you this game. As this is an awesome game, up and down action. Canton Falmouth three to three. And timeout, Falmouth, as both coaches give him some it, instructions. It, 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 Falmouth coaches don't look like they're really talking to them. Like you said, Pete, I think they're exhausted. Well, look, I think their two lines are exhausted. Steve, they're all they're all they're all bending over on this sticks. Yes. And, and I, look at the can bench. You don't see one girl bent nope, over. No nope. one girl. I, I'm telling you, it's it's definitely I think they're tired. And that's and I what think happens. The coach knew it. And that's what happens when you skate three and four lines every game. It just benefits your top two lines when it comes down to the last period, last 10 minutes of the game. No question there. It seems like an awfully long timeout, too. Yeah, I, I, mean, I mean, did we both call a timeout here? <laughs> it's usually 30 seconds, isn't I, it? I know, I know. But the referee just blew the whistle. Falmouth's going to make their way out. Coach Petrie's going to give last minute instructions here. As Canton going to send out their players, and that's McLean, Abby Stark, and Izzy Cusack. Corey Carr and Donahue on defense. And Canton gonna win that one. McLean is hauled down again. Oh, I tell ya. The refs are missing a really good game here, Steve. Yeah, Steve. really missing a good game. But you know what? It's I think right now it's just gotta be absolutely blatant a scoring opportunity. So Johnson trying to move it back in. Now Cusack has it. Cusack's gonna move it in. Cusack has it. Tries to go around the defense. He's broken up there by Roth. Canton again trying to move it in. And back comes Falmouth. Devlin gets it over to Hostetter. But broken up there by Abby Stock. And Stock trying to move it out on the sideboards. That's going to go behind the Canton net. As Turner trying to come out with it. Oh, the big save there. Big save. How to hold that post by Kate Budwin. Yeah, great job by the, uh, Kate. Uh, also by McLean trying to come out of the corner, blocking the girl from coming out in front of the net. So Canton on the, they're both teams changing up here. Canton gonna go with their first unit, Anna Lee, Ham, Penders, and uh, Spinelli. And they're gonna have Kaylee Cohen and Spinelli on the bench. So Anna Lee on the faceoff. Big faceoff right here, Pete. You wanna win this. She's against Haley Ferreira. So on the faceoff, Lee Han that's going to go back to the point, but Falmouth can't keep it in. They got to clear the zone. So Kaylee Cohen has it. She gets it out into center ice. She's going to dump it down deep. 
Spinelli's gonna go after it. Ferreira has it, she's gonna start out and she's gonna head a steam, she gets it up, up ice, but Spinelli right there, able to bank it right out into center ice. Duffany has it, Duffany's gonna start out with it now, she gets over the line, stopped there by Kaylee Cohen. Oh, there, there we go, we got Anna Lee here for the pass of breakaway. Anna Lee here goes in, how did we play by Kendall? is on the rebound, Kendall has it behind the net. Cut's gonna go up the sideboards now, as back comes down. Johnson has it. Johnson tries to sweep the defense, and she is blocked. And that's picked off there. Spinelli trying to move it out. Devin Spinelli, I mean, that Lila Spinelli has it. And back comes Turner now. Turner trying to move it. That's intercepted there by Lehan. Lehan throws it in. And Kenton getting all change again. What a breakaway, Pete. Great save by the goalie. Shot's intercepted by McLean. McLean hit, but picked up by Stark. Abby Stark has it, takes the shot. Oh, the big save there by Devlin. A minute 19 left in this third period. Three to three the score. Great shot, Pete, I like that. Now you get a face off in the zone. Um, Ken gonna take a timeout now? Ken's gonna take a timeout yeah, now. This is a good face this off. This is a in good timeout. It's a good timeout. Absolutely. In the offensive zone, strategize. But the key is you got to win the face-off. That's the whole thing. I Huge. Mean, and Ken's done a really good job winning the face-off tonight. So 119 left in this game. Three to three the score. Canton taking a timeout face-off is going to be to the left of Aspen Devlin, who's playing very, very well at, uh, on the Falmouth end. She made a couple of great saves early on. But I'll tell you, Canton's been peppering her, Steve. I'll tell you what, Pete. I thought the Westwood game was a good game. This is good. This is just absolutely what high school tournament hockey is all about. It, what a game, up yeah. and down. Both teams, excellent, excellent hockey clubs. And uh, I think, honestly, after Thelma took the three to one, he has been the better team in the third period, way better team in the third period. So again, both coaches giving some final instructions. Well, that timeout was a little shorter than the Thelma timeout. <laughs> well, well. Thomas needed a little more time than we did, so. Can we check the addresses of those referees? Yeah, I think we should. <laughs> so, Canton giving last minute instructions. As Canton gonna send their second unit out there. That's gonna be McLean and Abby Stark. I'm sorry, Canton's gonna change that up a little bit. Yeah, McLean. Anna Lee here, it's gonna be their power play out there. There you go. Anna Lee I like that, Pete. Cusack. And uh, and Falmouth able to win that faceoff. Gonna go out the center ice. Kaylee Cohen throws it up. Falmouth able to get it down deep. As uh, Donahue has it, she'll throw it up to Cusack. Cusack trying to move it out. Throws it out to Devlin, but intercepted there by Cohen. Now Lehan trying to get it. Kaylee Cohen's gonna pick it up. That goes to McLean. Nora McLean. She's gonna start out with it. She's checked there. She's gonna try and move it up. Oh, good play there by Cusack. Cusack's gonna start out with it. Cusack gets it over the line. She goes wide with it. And she's got McLean out front. Cusack still has it. Throws it out front. Cusack has it out front, takes another shot. That's blocked. Now McLean has it. McLean has it behind the net. Laura McLean gonna try and get control. But back comes down with Briggs trying to move it out now. Briggs has it. She crosses the line. She'll dump it down deep. Haley Cohen going to pick that one up. 20 seconds left in this game. Haley Cohen going to try and throw it up. As both teams trying to get control. That comes out in front. Oh, big play there. Falmouth still trying to get control. Cohen trying to get it. Now McLean has it. Four seconds left. That's going to go behind the net. And that will do it. And we're going to overtime here. Oh. At the bar. Wow. What a comeback by Canton Pete. Down 3-1, never, never gave up. Resiliency, scoring the, uh, two goals on power plays. And from that point on, it looks like the referees were afraid to call a uh, penalty, thinking that Canton would go ahead. But what a game, what a third period. What an absolutely great hockey game. Now we're going to overtime, 3-3. Three three. Uh, I believe we go 4-4, four four, right? Everything you want in a game and more. I believe they go 4-4, four four. yes. <laughs> They go four on four for a period, they go three on three for a period, and then unfortunately goes to a shootout, which right. I'm not I'm not a real fan of. But no. You know, hopefully Canton's gonna put this away early on right. with a little bit of open ice out there. Yeah, uh, so both teams 
Two minutes left in this uh, little bit of an intermission here. Give both teams a little bit of a rest here. Yeah. As uh, the coaching staff will get them, uh, get them all rested up and get them, uh, get some uh, plays on the on the board. So Canton, Falmouth, everything we thought it would be. This is a great game. Falmouth, Canton down by two goals I, I early in this third period, yeah. and they just came roaring back. Yeah, yeah, no quit, Pete. No quit, and that's how they played all year long. They just and. Honestly, the last, except for that last shift, I, I mean, Keaton's just had the better of the play. Yeah, no question here. And you know, Steve, anything can happen in uh, in overtime. You know, one one mistake, and in, in, uh, you know that that you could cost you the game. So uh, we'll see if both teams come out uh, come out uh, tentative a little bit, knowing that it's it's overtime, or are they going to come out flying? And I honestly believe the team that comes out flying. And aggressive well, is going to put the yeah, puck in the Absolutely. Mouth. That's what I think, too, Pete. So it's an eight minute overtime here. Eight minute of four on four? I believe it's four on four. Yeah, four on four. So Canton going to go start out here with McLean and Cusack with Spinale. And Cohen on defense. And Cohen on defense. Falmouth. Gonna start out with Ferreira at center. Johnson, Turner, and Briggs. And Kaylee Cohen's gonna get that one. She's gonna go into the Canton zone. Kaylee Cohen's gonna go behind her own net. She's gonna throw it up the boards, tries to hit McLean. Good tip there by Cusack. McLean has it. She gets over the line, gets into the middle. She takes the shot, and there's a save by Devlin. Good play there by McLean. Canton trying to keep it in, they do. They get it down into the Falmouth zone. And back comes Briggs. Briggs stops, she's gonna go the other way. She's gonna try and move it up. Good move there by Briggs. Gets it up to Johnson and gets it into the zone. Johnson has it, takes the shot. Oh, and a big save by, by Budway. Nice block of save. So Spinale trying to move it up. She gets it out to center ice. Cusack trying to get it. Cusack almost picked it up. Ah, oh, Izzy Cusack with good hustle. Cusack is going to pick up the loose puck here. She's going to dump it in. Oh, no, she holds on to it. Cusack still has it. Goes to the net, takes a shot. Oh, uh, Devlin with the save. She still has it. Takes a shot again. And there's another shot by Cusack. Oh, is oh, it Cusack? What a ship. What a mission. What a ship. She wanted to end it right there for Kent. Oh, she, she didn't. She wasn't going to be denied. The puck just kept following her stick. But that's what happens. You know, Pete, you keep your feet moving. Got one, two, but three great quality shots. So Canton face off in the Falmouth zone. Lee Han and Spinelli out there now with Georgia Campbell and Tori Carr. Hey, Canton's gonna win that one back to Carr. She takes a shot on oh, the big save by Devlin. Rebound goes back to Campbell. She keeps it in. Spinelli trying to get it on the sideboard. Spinelli has it. She's checked there by two Falmouth players, but she comes out with it. She still has it. Spinelli has it in the corner. Intercepted by Johnson. Hit Devlin. And that's going to go up to Roth. Back to Devlin. Devlin and Roth passing it back and forth. That's going to go into the corner. She tries to throw it out front. Intercepted by Campbell. Campbell gets it up to Spinelli. And that's going to go out to center ice. Falmouth trying to move it up again. As back comes Roth. Throws it into the middle, but that's intercepted by the Canton defense, but not out. As Vieira has it, Vieira takes the shot. That's blocked by Le Lehan. Lehan now trying to move it out of the corner. She's checked by Devlin. 6.02 left in this overtime period. Canton trying to move it out. They do, they get it out to center ice. As Falma's going to try and move it in. This is going to be delayed offside. Back comes Spinelli now. Lila Spinelli, she gets cuts into the middle as Canton trying to get a change. She's going to take a shot, and that's going to go wide. Spinelli's going to head to the bench as McLean came on. McLean's going to steal it. McLean has it in front on the backhand. Oh, it just goes wide. That's picked up by the Falmouth defense. Cusack has it now. Cusack going to go into the middle. Cusack still has it. And she takes a shot. That's that got go deflected, wide. I think, Pete. Duffany has it now. Checked there by Cusack. Cusack goes down. Now Devlin has it. Devlin tried to move it up. That's going to go into the Canton zone. Spinelli has it now. She's got a little bit of running room. Devin Spinelli going to move it up to Cusack. Throws it into the zone. That's going to go down deep. Cusack comes out with it. Izzy Cusack going to get it back to Spinelli at the point. 
takes a shot, that's gonna go wide. I would've liked to see it go over to McLean. McLean was wide open, Pete. McLean trying to come out of the corner, she's hit there. Back comes Duffany. Duffany gets it out of the zone, up to Johnson. That goes over to... Johnson almost picks it up. Puck loose in front, knocked away by Kent. Cusack in a foot race here. She's tied, Steve, I think. Yeah, she, she, she was, she was exhausted. So face off to come down into the Canton zone. Oh, holy cow. Wow. 4.32 left in great, this overtime period. Great job by the Canton defense, Pete. They just blocked two shots on that last shift from Salmon. So face off in the Canton zone, Anna Lee hand. She's against Herrera. Canton gonna win that one. Spinelli comes out of the zone. Spinelli gonna try and push it ahead. She's checked there. So Turner able to get that one. Turner's gonna come back, gets it up to Johnson. Johnson on Campbell, but Campbell knocks it to the uh, corner. That's a great play on defense. As Johnson trying to tie up, Campbell tried to tie her up. That's gonna go back to the point. And that's blocked, blocked by Parr. Good play there by Tory Parr. Turner has it behind the net. She's checked there by Lehan. Lehan's got to come out with it now. Anna Lehan has it at center ice. She's going to dump it down deep, and she's going to chase that one as Canton getting a change on defense. As Lehan gets hit in the corner. No call there again. As Ferreira trying to move out with it. But stopped there by Cusack. Cusack has it in the Falmouth zone. Trying to keep it. Spinelli now has it. Tries to get it over to Cusack. That's going to be shot up. Kevin Spinelli has it in their own zone. That's going to go over to Kaylee Cohen. Cohen's going to start out with it. She's going to get it into the Falmouth zone. Nice pass over to McLean. Takes a shot on. Oh, just so over the net. Just oh, had a set up all net. alone. Falmouth now on a foot race here. As Turner has it. Turner's going to fire it across. That's going to be so wide. McLean has it. McLean gonna go into the Falmouth zone, she's all alone. As McLean tries to get it back to Cusack. Cusack shoots, just goes wide. Oh, kidding. Oh he my God, they've had great opportunities here, Pete. So stopped there by Campbell. Campbell has it, and that's gonna be offside on Canton. I'm okay with that whistle, Pete. Just to slow it down just a little bit. Even though it's going in your favor, you know, sometimes it's okay to take the whistle, slow it down just a bit. So I, I would have liked to see her, if anything, dump it in and let, get a wholesale change and get the kids out of the ball. So on the faceoff, Anna Lee hand out there with Penders. Campbell and Carr on defense. As Lee hand loses her stick. As that puck is on the on the boards, Penders able to get it. She's going to throw it into Lee hand. Lee hand has it behind the net. Lee hand tripped up again and no call. That's going to go back to the point. Campbell has it. Takes the shot. That's just going to go wide. So Canton on the offense again. Go back to Corey Carr. Carr fires it. That's a save by Devlin. Lehan on it now. Lehan trying to get the loose puck. And picked up there by Roth. But she's checked by Penders. But Lehan right there to pick up the loose puck. Lehan has it behind the net. Lehan's going to come out with it. Lehan trying to move it. Throws it right out front. Oh, just oh. hit. Penders Pen didn't see it. Cohen on the loose puck down in her zone. She's checked there by Devlin. Finale going to take it up. Finale moves it up into the zone, and that's picked up by Cusack. Cusack's going to take it around the net. She's got McLean with her. McLean has it. Oh, it takes a shot. That's the really line. Got to get those on net, Pete. So Spinale trying to get it, along with McLean. Devlin checking them. Spinale has it. She banks it off the boards, but that's stopped there by Duffany. It's gonna be shot into the Canton zone. Haley Cohen has it, as she's gonna start out with it now behind her own net. She gives it to Spinale. Nice pass up to McLean. McLean has it. She tries to split the defense. That's stopped by Cusack. Cusack has it. Takes the shot. That's gonna go wide. Over the net again, Pete. You gotta get these so on back net. Back comes Salmon. Johnson, one on one on Spinelli. Takes the shot. Oh, the big save by Budway. What a stick save by Katie. So that's gonna go back to the point. And that's gonna be tipped in front. And that's tied up. What by a Budway. save by Katie. That was tipped 
It was, it, what a bad save, and she can cover it up. 52 seconds left in the first overtime. <laughs> what a game. I saw you, Steve. What a hockey game, Up folks. and down, up and down action. Can't, like a shooting gallery, just gonna put that puck yeah, on Yeah, I mean, net. I understand what they're doing. They're trying to go top corner, but just get it on net, get a rebound or something. So face off in the Canton zone. Anna Lee, Hannah Penders. Okay with Campbell. Thalmut's gonna win that one. That's gonna go back to the point. Oh, and Penders has a break along. Penders being chased by two Thalmut players. Couldn't hang on. And back comes Thalmut again. They're gonna throw it up, but that's stopped by Campbell. Campbell's gonna get over the line. She gets it into the Thalmut zone. Takes the shot. That's gonna go high and wide. All the way back to Tori Carr. Carr has it. She's gonna go in the middle. The lead hit. Shoot. Oh, and Devlin with the save. Campbell keeps it in again. She shoots it, that goes wide. Tori Carr gonna step up, trying to keep it in. Pendis covering for her. Tori Carr trying to get it on the sideboards. That's gonna go out to center 11 ice. seconds left. 11 sec, 10 seconds left. Campbell trying to move it in. She's gonna dump it down. This will be icing on Canton. Oh, tough uh, face off. He, he waited left. two seconds to make that call, Pete. So three seconds left in this overtime face-off in the Canton zone. Wow. Three seconds, Steve, enough to get a shot that, off. That's definitely. What do you do as a Canton player, Pete? Obviously, Thalmuth wants to win the face-off, right? Do you, as a, as a sentiment, do you go with her and, and try and fire it outside the defensive zone? I, yes, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You're just gonna, trying to win it, you're gonna, let, use her leverage to send it down the ice. No question. So Anna Lehan on the face-off out there with Pendas. Kaylee Cohen and Spinelli. Lehan's gonna win that one back to Kaylee Cohen. That's gonna go behind the net. That'll do it in the first overtime. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. I'll tell you. What a hockey game, ladies and gentlemen. Up Just and down absolutely action. fantastic. Steve, this is why you love to have the first game of the night. Yes. When it goes into overtime, you yeah. don't get backed up. Well, yeah, now you just don't. Now those players that are in the second game, they have no idea when they're going on the ice. Your whole routine gets, you know, gets changed. No you know? question there. So both teams taking a well needed rest. So you go now to three on three, I believe, Pete. And does it, um, who's the benefit, do you think? I know Falmouth was tired. They took the time out early in the third period. Who's it benefit? I think. I mean. I think right now. I think it benefits Canton. Canton's been out skating them, no right. question. Right. But you know as well as I do, Steve. Three on three. All Anything it takes. Can all it takes is a loose puck, and you got to break it, away. It's puck possession right now. It's three no on question. three is puck possession. If you can win the faceoff, get puck possession. Now you control the play. Now you. And I'll tell you what, Pete. Canton had at least six, seven grade A opportunities in that first overtime. And four of them went over the net. You yep. really gotta, you, you gotta put it on You, gotta get, you gotta get it on the it net. It doesn't matter, you gotta get it on net. And it, even if Devlin makes the save, you gotta go for those yeah, rebounds. Go for and, rebound. that's, and that's the key. And the Canton's just firing it. And they, listen, they get more opportunities, it's awesome. But they gotta get the puck yeah. on net. Yeah. So the whistle is blown, the buzzer has rung. Both teams given their last Bit of Last instructions. instructions. Steve, I'm out of breath. I don't know uh, about you. Dude, I, I'm, I, I, I have high blood pressure. This is no good. I can't talk this much. <laughs> so both teams coming back to the face-off circle. It'll be three on three. Sudden death now, over time. I thought the goalie switched stints. They stay on the same end, it looks like. Really? Yeah. So face-off. Maybe they try and make it. So that's a longer change. They don't, you know, they don't want. Could be. So on the faceoff here, start out with Kim will be Lehan, Spinelli, and Cohen. And that's going to be against Ferreira, Johnson, and Briggs on defense. Another so eight-minute overtime. Eight-minute overtime. Three to three to score here at the board. Winner goes into the semifinals. And Lehan's gonna try and kick it down as Falmouth's gonna get the loose puck. Briggs has it behind her own net. A lot of open ice here. Briggs gonna start out with it. She gets out of the zone. Briggs has it. She has Johnson with her. She tries to cut through the middle. And there's Budway with the save. 
Good save there. Good smart play yep. by Budway to, to uh, tie that one up. Yep. 15 seconds and uh, coach is only changing up one person. That's good though, Pete. Now you can do that. Now you bring McLean out. You got McLean, Cohen, and, and uh, Spinelli. So McLean on the faceoff. Still out there with Cohen and Spinelli. And McLean's going to win that one. Devin Spinelli's going to go back the other way. Canton going to control this one. As that's going to go up to McLean. McLean's in a foot race now with Briggs. McLean trying to cut into the middle, but she's intercepted there. But McLean able to steal the puck. McLean has it. Takes the shot. Big save by Devlin. Johnson's going to pick it up now as she's checked there by McLean. McLean falls, and back comes Johnson. Johnson has Pereira with her. Tries to drop it for Pereira. Pereira on the sideboards now. Cohen trying to get it. Goes back to Briggs. Briggs, who takes a shot. That's going to go wide. Cohen's going to try and get that loose puck. He's going to get it out. Try and get it out of the zone, but stopped by Johnson. But McLean able to pick it out of the zone. Briggs will start out with it now. Gets it into the Canton zone. That's going to be they're all They're all exhausted, Pete. They, that, both teams, they're just really tired. Now's when you really want to try and make a change. Canton trying to get it out of their own zone as they finally do. Cohen trying to get it. Kaylee Cohen! She's gonna go in on a breakaway. Kaylee Cohen! And a big save. Oh, what a save. Cohen still has it behind the net. Intercepted there by Johnson. Johnson has it. She's gotta be exhausted. Yeah. Johnson's been out there since the first day. Uh, face off. Takes the shot and a big save by Budway. And now Cusack has it. Izzy Cusack trying to just skate by the defense. And she's broken up there by Duffany. Corey Carr on now. Falmouth getting some fresh legs. Spinelli, good play to get it around the car. Corey Carr trying to move it up. Gets it up to Cusack, and that's gonna go to Devlin. It's gonna go back to Roth. Roth has it. Roth still has it. Gets it over to Devlin. Takes the shot. Oh, what a save! That's a high stick. And they're gonna call a high stick. And that's going to go all the way down. That goes all the way down. All the way down. So that faceoff will be in the Falma zone. 5.47 left in this second overtime. That is one of the calls they finally made, Pete, that they got right. Well, even a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then, Steve. That's, right? that's, that's what we saying. say. That's what we say. So Anna Lee hit on the faceoff out there with Georgia Campbell and Tori Carr. Lee hit on the faceoff. Puck, one, uh, one by Lehan, Carr has it. Tori Carr trying to make a move behind the net. Tori Carr trying to move it out front. That's intercepted by Briggs. And back comes two Falmouth. on one. Back comes Falmouth. As Falmouth moving it out of deep hit, and they score! They scored on the rebound, Pete. Wow. What a hockey game, Pete. It's unfortunate that they lose you know, in a three-on-three, three. but no, no hanging your heads for this team, Pete. They played an outstanding hockey game today. Yeah, no question there, Steve. We always say, you know, I mean, hey, you make it this far. And uh, I'll tell you, this team played their hearts out against a very, very good Falmouth team. And they had their opportunities. You just had Kaylee Cohen with a breakaway. Hey, and give you uh, hats off to the Falmouth goalie. Uh, she, Devlin, she played really well. Uh, no question there. And you know, Steve, you always feel bad for the seniors. This, is, this will be their last game as a Canton High hockey player. And definitely some uh, some uh, some sad players out there. But I'll tell you, they have nothing to hang their heads nothing, about. Nothing this whatsoever. Was, this was one of the best hockey games I've seen in a long, long time. Up and down action. Without a doubt, best hockey game of the year. Yes, uh, Pete, start to finish, they played absolutely fantastic. I mean, uh, up and down, it was just a great hockey game. It was just, you know, both teams, you know, both teams deserve the win. They're only going to get one winner, and, you know, unfortunately, we don't get to go back to the Garden again this year. Yeah, no question, but, uh, you know, both teams played very, very well. And, uh, you know, hats off to the girls. I'll tell you, they made it exciting as they played the hearts out in this game and really came to play. And, you know, they, uh, like you said, Steve, they had their opportunities. They had a bunch of shots. Devlin came up big with a couple saves. Not much Kate Budway could do on that one as she made the initial stop. 
It was on the rebound. It was on the rebound, and uh, you know, I mean, they were the, the, full, the players that were on the ice that, that caught deep. They were just gassed. They couldn't get back to help out. Uh, when you're on a two-on-one and on a, you know, when it's just three players on each team on the ice, it's very hard, you know, for the goalie to make that second save on the rebound. Yeah, no, no question there. And you know, Steve, you feel bad, like we said, you feel bad for the seniors. Uh, senior captain Lila Spinelli, senior captain Anna Lee Han. Oh, um, um, you have uh, senior captain Maggie Daly, uh, Isabel Crugnale, Tori Will Kyle. Wilkinson, uh, Devin Spinelli, another captain, and you have Tori Carr, another captain. Oh. I just, just a, you know, you hate to see players like that go. Such good, talented players like that, but they're seniors. And uh, but Canton, the future is bright, Steve. A lot of freshmen, a lot of sophomores on this team stepped up throughout the entire season. And, uh, you know, Kate Budway, only a sophomore coming back, so that's a huge thing for the Canton Bulldogs. Yeah, as, as we say every year, at whatever the last game is, Steve, you don't have to worry about Canton hockey. They don't, they don't rebuild, they just reload. Right. And, you know, we don't know what's coming up, you know, through the pipeline, but we know they're going to be good players because they always are. No so, question. you know, unfortunately, we're losing a bunch of seniors, quality seniors, ex all of them playing, and they play a big part in, in the uh, in the team. But, you know, it, four years, it's it's time. It's you know? the way it goes. And congratulations to the Falmouth Clippers. They hung in there, although I think Canton was the better team, Steve, I think, personally. Yes. And that's not biased. I think they were the better team. and uh, They might have got a little help with some non-calls there, too. No question. But, and I think, um, you know, but congratulations to them as they move on in the tournament and the Bulldog season comes to an end, uh, sadly for us. But, uh, you know, it, it, it was a fun season, both boys and girls. Both, ex both had exciting seasons. Girls, you know, like I said before, you don't, you don't get a better game than this. No, that was, that's... Uh, that, since I've been doing the game speed, I think that is the most exciting game I've been involved with. No question, no question. So that will just about do it from here, from the bog. I'll tell you, I am out of breath, Steve. My voice is gone calling this game for so long without a, without a non-stop, I'll tell you. I'm not used to this. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing. The legend, Joe Donnelly, would have loved this game. He oh. would have been going nuts right now because he, he absolutely loved tournament time. And, uh, you know, he loved to call these games, and he would have loved this game, I'll tell you. And as always, Steve, we're going to thank our cable staff, Tim's here, Andrea, Tanya, and Mark, and they do a great job. And as the legend, Joe, Joe Donnelly, Donnelly, always said, best cable staff in the world, bar none. We're down in Kingston on a Thursday night bringing you these games, and they love doing it, and we love bringing them to you. And, uh, you know, we're very sad that the season's over. Yeah. But we're very optimistic for next year, that's for sure. Yeah, we're spoiled every year. You know, last four years we've been at the Garden. So, you know, you, you, you kind of get used to it, you, you do, know. And you do get used to it. So you it's, do uh, get used to it. But we'll so, let somebody else take the Johnny Most booth this year, okay. Steve. How's well, that? Yep. No, okay. no question there. So, I'll tell you. Just a great game here from the Bog. And, uh, you know, we're, we're very uh, very sad for the girls as, as they put on a great show today for the entire crowd. So for my partner, Steve Willis, the final score for the final time. 4-3. 4-3. I'm sorry, I didn't remember. Falmouth 4, Canton 3. We'll see you all again next year.